Now we're going to tra transition from an arm bar to pinch arm bar variation. So those are good things to have because um, they they break this grip quite easily and it's a good arm bar to have period. So a pinch arm bar is an arm bar where the, the arm is pinched on either side like this here. The first thing you need to know about this type of arm bar is that it's way tighter than your regular arm bar. So while I have an arm bar that's common and I can go all the way to the floor with the same lock, if without changing the distance I tried all, all the way to the floor with this, it would tear his arm, arm out. So they are much tighter. The leverage is a little different. So don't try to get the same you know, motion with your upper body that you have on this while you have something like this because bad things will happen to his arm. That being said, so I'm right here. How do you get, you know, you're in the position like that. How do you get the pinch arm bars? A couple of ways of doing it if you're getting from here. You know, usually you get them before this point. But at times you have a grip here. You're trying to, you know, work this crazy stuff and you want to get a pinch. So the way you're going to do this here is first of all get wrist control so he's not going to go anywhere. So I don't want to, you know, let go of everything. So get wrist control so he's not going anywhere. Usually I started from that position that we were doing the wrist lock. I'm going to lose this control. I'm going to bring my elbow to this side. So instead of going up under, go over. Now the idea is to apply pressure downward and break it this way. So I'm applying pressure downward and I'm breaking this way. Very hard for him because of the elbow pressure there and the fact that I'm using my body against this arm for him to stop this. Now I simply let that arm slide. So you're right here. Just catch that elbow. It's not, you're not striking an elbow there, but I'm applying pressure on his bottom arm, pressing inside here. Now I'm stretching everything this way here with my body weight. Now this allows me to land in this position. When I land in this position on this side especially, it's important that I pinch. And if you want to really increase the pressure, just control the outside of your knee and pull that knee in. So I'm pinching with that elbow towards my ribs and I squeeze that knee this way, okay? Now, this makes it very tight. If I didn't have this pressure, I would be able to go deeper. But with this kind of pressure here, very little will do. So, you're out here. Oh, once you get that, right there, okay? Now, he has a regular grip and I want to do it the other side, okay? So there's a couple uh, ways you can do the other side. The other side's a lot harder to do it. So you could do it first a regular break and then switch. So in other words, for example, you could do this kind of break here, oh, and then switch to one of the two sides. This right now, it's either here or here. Or you could do the old way, which is what I normally want to do the pressure way. So it's the same way as before. Control the wrist, but now instead of controlling here and doing this rail system, I'm going to switch to this. Okay. Bring your elbow down on the down one, and now everything together with your body to the side. Boom! To explode that grip. Once it explodes the grip, it's just the elbow goes down, and you rotate that thing into position. Don't let this stay here. Because right now, this is an Americana, and it's not an arm bar. So once you apply the pressure down, apply the pressure down, and then up. Pinch it into your ribs here. Once you got this, same magnet grab your slap it in the face while you do it too. Right there. So inside one is this grip here. Elbow goes down, strike hard. Use your whole body to break this free. You can see this is kind of a kind of a manhandling position there. So here, second one, break, and hit, okay. Add this for more pressure. Very good technique. Uh, the other one that I showed if for the advanced guys, if you want to try it a little, is just to bring your hand in the middle. So basically the hand that's closer to the legs goes and breaches this distance here. Well, keep holding, yeah. So he starts to, keeps holding. Then you grab your own hands or apply pressure and you Pull this off. Usually it's an easy switch to this. Let's do that.